Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about a video that I released today, it being the 5th, but you guys will likely see this video on the 6th. Um, before we talk about that video, however, I want to go ahead and reiterate that I passed 1.9k subscribers, so I'm really happy and thankful for you guys for supporting me and getting me to that point. If you would like to continue to support me, share my videos, subscribe to the channel, comment on them, leave likes, become a member, join the Discord, all that stuff helps out immensely. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this topic. And I want to start off by saying that I am not writing a script for this video. I usually don't write scripts for my videos, so I typically talk off the top of my head. Now, depending on the types of videos that I make can influence that specific type of decision. So in the case of the video that I had uploaded today, that I eventually removed. It was one of those videos that did not have a script. And I feel like it not having a script is probably what led to people to disliking the video and not taking what I said to the degree that I was meaning it. And what do I mean by that when I say that? Well, there seemed to be a very big disagreement or gap in information where people were assuming one thing when I was actually saying another thing. And I just want to make this very, very clear for anyone out there. I am totally fine with you disagreeing with me. I am totally fine with you having a differing opinion from my own, and that is your right to do so. I will respect your decision to hold your opinion, but I do not think it is appropriate to go on my video and then begin telling other people that I am saying something that I am not saying or saying I did not say something when I did. That I personally take issue with only because I'm putting out these videos to make people aware and talk about and let the issues of the game be open, openly discussed at that even. And I find it really hard to do that when people are getting caught up in their feelings and emotions because they feel very strongly about the game in some way. And that's fine. You are allowed to be very passionate about the game and you are allowed to feel a certain way about the game. I have no problem with that at all. But in the video, I discussed about the many problems that were in the game. I feel like the merchant changes made other items found in the dungeon less valuable. I talked about how the goblin cave map changes were ultimately bad, and I provided reasons such as the high roller goblin caves map is not designed well, it has too much verticality, the mob density is way too high, the map is confusing. The mini map is confusing. It's just genuinely not a fun map to play on. I talked about how the game is currently in a ranged meta, which means that if you use bows, crossbows, hand crossbows, uh, spells, anything that allows you to do damage from range, that currently does better than almost anything else in the game currently. I also talked about how there is a hesitation from Iron Mace where they say something needs to be changed, 
both because they have data on it and they get player feedback. They change it, whether it is removing, changing something, buffing, nerfing, and then within a day, they backpedal and they go back on their changes. So those were some issues that I highlighted in my latest video. And I was speaking off the top of my head with no script. And I won't lie, guys, I was venting. I'm very frustrated with this patch. Now, we did get an announcement today on the 5th that we are going to be receiving a hotfix. We still have not gotten any patch notes. If and when we get those patch notes today, I'll try to cover that in a video and get that out so it can be out tomorrow. But I really wanted to make this video and just say that I'm sorry that people perceived my opinion a certain way, but I'm not sorry for holding those opinions. I still stand by everything I said, and could I have phrased it better? Yes, I definitely think I could have phrased it better. That's just something I'm going to have to learn to do uh, doing these videos on YouTube because I am very unapologetic, I'm very blunt, and typically you would not find me making a video like this, but I feel it's necessary because I don't want to build up negative attention towards myself because that's not the point of this channel. You know, I'm trying to make something good that people can come here, get good information, have good dialogue, good discussions about the game. Obviously other things too, but a lot of my content revolves around that kind of stuff. So... I went ahead and again, I removed that video because I just felt like it was going to generate way too much negativity and that's not the purpose of the video. The video was not to generate negativity towards myself or to Iron Mace or to Dark and Darker. It was to illustrate my frustrations with the game. And I personally felt attacked. And the reason why I think I felt that way is because I look at other content creators who do the same types of videos talking about how the patch is not good and how the game is ultimately worse right now and that it's driving people away. Yet, I was getting a different kind of response. And I think it is both in part of a misunderstanding between myself and the viewers but also the way that I conveyed my message. So I am sorry for conveying my message with a more unapologetic tone. That's something I'm definitely going to have to work on. But again, I still stand by everything I said, but I probably could have said it in a more tactful manner. I also want to make it absolutely clear that in no way, shape or form was I hating on the game I wasn't hating on Iron Mace. I want the game to do really, really well. The big illustrated point that I was trying to make with that entire video is that when you make big sweeping changes to a game that has a active population, and just to show you, because this isn't the highest the population has been, but it's a Thursday. It's 3.46 p.m. right now. There's 11,872 people in the dungeons, and there's 9,942 people in the lobbies right now. That's over 20,000 people in the game right now. And that's, that's just on a Thursday before a lot of people are even off work and have time to play, right? So when you make these big sweeping changes that are also experimental, meaning that they're going to affect parts of the game to test things out, you are risking the chance of driving potential players away from your game because you have changed something. Now, I saw a lot of arguments say that people sign up to the game knowing it's early access. People go into the game knowing that there will be changes that might not benefit them or that they may not like. 
that's fine. That's totally understandable. That is a very valid point to hold. I think it is a reasonable thing to say that if the game is in early access and you go in and you act as if there won't be any changes, you yourself are either ignorant of the situation or you are willfully delusional. But the argument I was trying to make in my video is that there is another point of view to see beyond that one. That is the opposite, that the game is for sale, it is fully playable right now, and therefore it is okay to say that the game can be judged 100% based on what you get because it is you are paying for a product. It does not matter if it is early access, it doesn't matter if it is a beta, it doesn't matter if it is an alpha. If somebody pays for a product and they don't like it, they have every right to criticize it and get a refund, walk away, quit, whatever it might be. And they would be valid in that reasoning. Now, their reasons for quitting, you might disagree with, but from their point of view, that is that is very valid for them to do such a thing and i think what i was trying to get across the other day with my video is that these changes that they are making that experiment with things are driving away players permanently right that is a that is an issue if you don't think that is an issue i don't know what else to tell you a game does not survive with a dwindling population. It just doesn't. So I was trying to bring up a discussion essentially from my venting that Iron Maze should be careful with doing these big sweeping changes because it can potentially harm the population permanently. And I know there are people out there that will say something like, well, if they didn't like X and Y changes, they weren't going to stick around in the game anyway. And I don't think that's true. I also don't think it's necessary to say, well, if they don't like the game, they should just quit and go somewhere else. I really do not like the mentality of people who drive others away from the game just because they see the game differently. There is a reason why games die. They die because of bad decisions, and those bad decisions drive players away. And then you have players defend the bad decisions. And I think further drive away more players with how they treat those who may be on the fence of, do I stay or do I go? So, I just want to make it very, very clear I am in full support of Dark and Darker. I'm in full support of Iron Mace. I hope they do well with the game. I want them to do well with the game. But you can't come to my video and begin making things up and saying things I didn't say or saying I didn't say things, whatever the case might be. It, it just doesn't work to have a proper discussion about something when you start off on the wrong foot. And I felt like that video was too blunt for there to ever be any kind of civil discussion on there. It just seemed like it was going to be the extreme of the patch sucks or the extreme of the patch is good, you're just bad, mad, whatever. So that's why I ultimately took it down because I did not feel like generating all of that negativity towards myself, to people voicing their opinions, uh, to Iron Mace, to Dark and Darker. I just took it down. It was just, it was a very easy decision for me. So again, guys, there's a lot of good in the game too. All right. I think the changes to Crips was a really good change. I think the Warlock changes 
While I feel like Warlock is probably going to have to have some balance changes done to it, I think the changes to Warlock were ultimately good. There's other stuff I could go into, but just because I make a video highlighting some of the problems I have with the game, that doesn't mean I don't think there are positives to it. I make videos for this game a lot. And whether people want to say I'm just shoveling out content or whatever, that's not the case. I sit here and I think of these ideas and I try to put a lot of content out because I'm passionate about the game. I like to cover the game. I like to spread awareness about the game. So I just want to make sure everybody is on the same page that watches my videos, whether you are watching this for the first time or you've been following me along since I've started this Dark and Darker content journey. So, yeah, I just wanted to personally clear the air. I don't hold any resentment towards anyone, you know, whether you said something that was out of pocket or you disagree with me. That's totally fine. But hopefully this video will satisfy that gap where we were having a misunderstanding between people. And if you still disagree with me, that's totally fine, but from now on, and some people might disagree with this, and that's okay, but if your plan is to leave comments on my videos that purposefully do things to incite arguments, or you're doing something to spread around misinformation, saying I said something that I didn't say, whatever it might be, don't do it, alright? Just don't do it. You're wasting your time, and you're wasting my time. But ultimately, you're wasting your time. Just realize I have a button that I can press that immediately removes anything you say, and you won't be able to do anything else on the channel. So, I would just ask that you please be respectful to myself and others, and in return... I promise you that future videos, I will make sure that I gather my thoughts better and present information in a more digestible format that isn't just me venting off the top of my head. So I accept my fault there, but I hope the viewers that did view that video come back and watch this video and maybe hope I hope that they have an understanding now of where I was coming from and they realize that it wasn't just all negativity. It was coming from a place of passion for the game. All right. Anyway, guys, love you all. Appreciate you all. Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate you guys who stick by me. And thank you for all the support for the last video. I had a lot of people reach out to me and tell me that they understood. Even through all of the complaining and whining, they understood what I was ultimately trying to say, which I do appreciate. But I hope you guys have a rest of a wonderful day. And I butchered that ending, but it's staying in. Have a good day, guys. Thank you for watching.